AEW Revolution is in the books. And yep, it's, this is Sting's final match as a full-time in-ring competitor. And I gotta say, AEW went all out to make sure Sting got the sign-off that he needed and that he wanted. And let's just say they delivered and then some. So enough of that. Let's get into it. The first match of the show was Christian Cage versus Daniel Garcia. So Daniel Garcia has been on a hot streak as of late, racking up wins on his way to beat face Christian at the pay-per-view. And I got to say, the match was solid for an opener. And we all knew that Christian was going to walk out the victor. And good match is not Garcia's time just yet, but he will win a championship in later time so we'll just see and they're probably going to hold that off till edge comes back i mean adam copeland till he comes back so we just got to see where it's go from here and the next match is eddie kingston facing brian danielson for the continental classic crown championship so this match is basically built on respect and eddie felt like danielson hasn't gave him that much respect since he won the championship and pretty much doesn't respect him as a competitor this match was amazing Danielson did his best to make Eddie look good and they just put it all on the line just for the championship and they just did a lot. Eddie winning kind of sh was kind of shocking because everybody expected Danielson to win the championship but like I said Danielson is going to be part-time soon. This is final <clears throat> this is final run as a full-time competitor so he's just pretty much putting over people when it's needed the most so we just gotta see where eddie goes from here and who's gonna face him so the next match was the all-star scramble match where the winner received the um future opportunity for the aew world championship warlow won as expected given the promos has he been cutting as of late and his alliance with the undisputed kingdom so we just gotta see where that goes from here and the next match is roderick strong facing Orange Cassidy for the International Championship. So Roderick Strong final, is finally... Uh, he won the championship by targeting Cassidy's back that he has been targeting the weeks leading into this match. And like I said, the match, it was solid in a way. But Roderick won and Kyle O'Reilly, after two years out, returns. And, out, and he doesn't accept the offer to join the group as of yet but we just gotta see where that goes from here as they slowly integrate him back into uh, the active roster and the next match is the bcc the blackpool combat club john moxley and claudio castagnoli versus ftr and this for a tag match this was pretty solid as both teams gave it their all and this was the first match that i have seen where mox wasn't bleeding first pay-per-view match i should know and I gotta say, it was a good match. I really enjoyed it. Blackpool Combat Club coming out on top. Uh, it surprises a little, but... <laughs> does surprise a lot, but I just gotta see where they go from here. Or will they move on to new challengers? And the next match is Tony Storm facing Deanna Perrazzo. This match, this women's match was pretty great. Good, it was pretty solid, but... I guess they're going to hold off Deanna's crowning moment for a little while, and they don't want Tony to lose the title just yet. Also, the troll entrance at the beginning with Mariah May doing Tony's old entrance was pretty spot on. It was pretty solid. I really liked it, and it caught everybody by surprise. And the next match is Will Ospreay versus Kanosuke Takeshita in Ospreay's AEW debut. And Osprey finished his commitments with New Japan, and he's finally a full-fledged member of the roster. And his first opponent is Ten Konosuke Takeshita, who's been putting on good matches as of late. So the match at the at the gate, pretty pretty great, pretty solid. And it went from solid to amazing to spectacular, and they pretty much exceeded everybody's expectations for the match. And they just held, they held no punches back. Osprey winning was expected because, you know, you got the new superstar boost and you got to make the new star look good. And I feel he's going to get that push coming soon. And Takeshita, he didn't, he didn't look, well, he looked good even in defeat. And it didn't hurt him in a way. So we just got to see where they go from there. I think Osprey's going to turn face soon. So we just, like I said, we just got to see from there. The next match was the triple threat with Samoa Joe defending against 
Hangman Adam Page and Swerve Strickland. So Swerve, so this pretty much is circled around Swerve and Hangman's story with Hangman being obsessed by not letting Swerve get the world championship, just stopping him from being world champion. And Hang, not Hangman, but <laughs> and Joe doing his best to make sure that they pay attention to him, make sure he's not the odd man out. The match was pretty good, had some high pace action, had some pretty good moments, like with Swerve teasing a face turn, not using the crown, with Hangman slowly turning heel by using the belt on both Swerve and Joe, showing he's doing whatever it takes. It's pretty much a callback to when he faced CM Punk and he hesitated on not hitting Punk with the championship, and Joe like like he is swooped in and won by submission so it's a good solid triple threat like i said it had everything it had high pace action it was pretty much everything it had a story it had a drum, dramatic effect so who joe's gonna face we just gotta see from here and they're just gonna delay swerve's crowning moment it's gonna be we just gotta see where they go from here and hey man expecting him for to have time off soon so we just gotta see where that go from here but i'm sure the story will continue for that eventual blow-off match i think when hangman returns and has a heel and sort of probably be a face in the coming weeks or building up to it and the main event stings final match him and darby allen defend the tag team titles against the young bucks so the young bucks are stings final opponents they did their best to make some heat given to the match and they're pretty much full-fledged heels and with this new corporate change and we just gotta see <laughs> how this goes from here so sting's final match with darby they they did not with had a touching video tribute with sting's matches from nwa to wcw and pretty much showing that this is indeed his final match given the emotions so the match it was pretty cracked up like darby killing himself as usual the bucks playing up the heels do, doing their best having the crowd on their feet and pretty much notice qualification rule pretty helped in a way and then in a shocking or unshocking way sting and darby allen retained the belts so i guessing they want sting to retire in a blaze of glory and want him to retire as a champion so that was a good move on aew's part and tony khan's part it was a good match and also they said the uh, tag team titles are vacant and they're going to do a tournament soon so that was aew revolution i gotta say i love the event it was pretty great from top to bottom the triple threat match was fun osprey Takeshka match of the night for me Sting's final match was a highlight also, and I really liked it. They did their best to make Sting look good on his way out. And I got to see where things go on from there. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And this is my review from AEW Revolution. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I'll be back with a new one. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everyone. Yeah.